In the next chapter of this tutorial, we're going to spend some time adjusting the curtains so they don't look too repetitive. It would be nice to try and make them drape a bit more naturally and randomize the distance between the pleats. We can easily do that by just moving these internal lines. At this point, I'm going to temporarily lower the resolution back to speed up the simulation. There we go. That's much better. Now, another thing that could improve the overall look is to make the curtains a bit wider at the bottom. If you look at our reference, you can see that they're slightly wider at the bottom compared to the top area. One way to do it could be just by spending some time tweaking the curtains till we achieve a desirable look. Another way that could give us a bit more control is cutting off the bottom portion of the curtain and assigning a slightly more rigid material to it. I'm going to go ahead and offset this line at the bottom. That should work. Right click on the internal line and choose cut and sew. Click add to add a new material. Let's change the color so that it's easier to see the difference. Select the bottom piece and go down to the fabric section. Select the drop down menu and choose our new material to assign it to the garment. Now select the material, scroll down to the physical property section and change the preset to leather. All right. Before hitting the simulation button, I'm going to go ahead and pin this entire left side as to prevent it from tapering inside the wall. Let's see what we've got. Well, that's not doing much. Let's try an even more rigid material. I'm going to go with this trim full grain leather. This definitely has widened it up, but I think that might be looking a bit too rigid. Let's switch back to leather. All right, that's better. I think I still would like the top of the curtains to taper a bit more, so I'm going to move the splits a bit closer to each other. If you want to hold the garment in a position, just hold the W key and click on the garment to pin it. There we go, that's much nicer. Let's add some resolution. Okay. I'm just going to change the color real quick so that it's easier to see. As you can see, the pins over here have created some artifacts. We need to relax this area. I'm going to hold the W key and click exactly on the pins to remove them. Then with this tool over here, I'm going to go to the 2D window and marquee select the entire curtain except the edge that needs relaxing. And hit the simulate button. All right, there we go. Let's lower the particle distance even more and run a short simulation. I'm 
I'm going to remove this beam and run a quick simulation again just to relax this corner a bit. All right. At this stage, feel free to tweak the pleats to achieve a desirable look. Once you're happy, you can try adding a different material and see if it gives you some interesting results. I'm going to try and use linen. That's nice. I'll freeze the bottom to prevent it from changing the shape. Great, that's not too bad. So in the next chapter, we're going to look at how we can export our curtains to ZBrush.